Hi everyone, my name's Daryl. So I purchased an A-Liner camper probably about five or six months ago or so, and one of your first purchases should be something to balance your trailer. So the A-Liner has a tongue jack in the front that you can balance from front to back, but you have to have something to balance from left to right. So one of the first things that you need to do when you're balancing your trailer is you need to figure out which area or which side isn't level. And so if your right side of the trailer is lower, it's the bubble's going to move to the left. And if the left side of your trailer is lower, it's going to move to the right. So one of the first things that you really need to do when you get your trailer into position is chalk the wheels. So I'm going to go ahead and do that first, but you need to chalk the wheels on the upper side. Um, so whichever side is higher, that's the wheels that you are going to chalk. So um, in this particular case, my left wheel is a little higher, so I'm going to chalk that first. All right, so going to chalk these. Oops. Okay, so we should be good. Now the next thing we're going to do is balance the trailer from front to back. Okay, so I've got the balance on my frame and you can see that the bubble is on the right hand side. Okay, so that means I have to lower the tongue. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, that's pretty good. All right, so when you get your balance leveler, it comes in four parts. So you've got this big, this big piece right here, which is pretty heavy. Um, then you have this piece right here, which is what raises the leveler. Then you have this little piece right here, which goes in right in here in this little slot. And then you have this wrench, which is what um, allows you to raise it. So basically you take this piece and then you take your pipe here, your big, your big screw. And basically what you do is you just screw this guy in. Oops. And it takes a little while. Um, so I'll be back in a second. All right, so now that you've got it screwed in, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this part of it and you're gonna put it in that little divot right there. And then you're gonna take your balance leveler and you're gonna put it in between your tires and you're gonna to wanna to make sure that it fits kind of centered on your tire. So you don't wanna push it in necessarily all the way. Um, you wanna get it so that this piece is centered on the tire. Okay, yeah, so you're gonna to wanna to have it centered kind of right on that plate, your tire, on both sides. So one important point is before you actually level your trailer and use this, you don't wanna put your stabilizers down. So do not put your stabilizers down. After your trailer is level, then you put your stabilizers down. All right, and your last step is basically just to um, raise the wheel. Now it is handy to have someone close to you that has the level or if you're a trailer has a level on it, that's really helpful. Um, but you can put this um, kind of on the floor of the trailer, you could open up the door, or you could put this on the roof of the trailer, or even the frame, and then have someone let you know when you're level. Okay, so we're level. And so to finish this up, when we're done, basically all you have to do is first remove the stabilizers, and then flip this guy around, and then lower it. All right, so that's it. So this has never happened to me, but I have heard of people that actually had the leveler get stuck underneath the tire and they couldn't remove it. So one thing that you can do, and they have this actually in their instructions, is put your stabilizers down on this side and then get a jack and just raise it up just a little bit, just enough to get that balance leveler out from underneath the wheel. 
So I have heard sometimes people find these hard to get. Um, I didn't have any problems on Amazon, and I'll go ahead and put a link to the product uh, in the description for this video. Um, if you did get some value from this video, please like it and also consider subscribing to my channel. And I hope to see you again in the next one very soon. I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago. But all will be okay, I move on each and every day. The past is where it stays.